500 pieces were made and then there was a Miss Van der Joachim Orchid to represent Singapore. Hi, this is Thomas of iCollect. Today we meet a collector and a curator of rare and exquisite fountain pens. There's also the contest giveaway details at the end of this video. Let's go meet him now. Hi, I'm Fong Kang from Aesthetic Bay. I curate exquisite fountain pens. I used fountain pens since I was 5 years old. My father gave me two fountain pens. One of them is Hero and the other one is Schaefer. And then I was using fountain pens since young, primary school, until the principal stopped us because we were playing with fountain pens. When I started working, uh, I bought a uh, Parker Duofo with my first paycheck. It was a big deal then. And I used to visit my customers and whenever we discuss, I would use a fountain pen, I would sketch with a fountain pen. And actually, it acts as icebreaker. And then many of them, they would say, oh, fountain pen, why use a fountain pen? We, we start to, to talk about fountain pens instead of the business. So whenever they call me, they will call my office and say, can you please pass the phone to the guy with the fountain pen? And whenever I travel, so I buy fountain pens, I visit stationery shops around the world and I collected so many. I think I have about 500 over pieces. And then 22 years ago, in 2002, I decided to turn my hobby into a business. These are some of my interesting collections that I've collected for many years. And I especially want to mention this piece here, it's Namiki White Tiger. It was launched in 1995 with a price tag of US 899 and it was a failure, nobody wants to buy. But today, this piece is about $15,000 and it's a very significant piece because it makes Namiki famous. This is the very first limited edition of Namiki. In 1998, Namiki launched the big version, the Emperor Size Limited Edition. And this is also a very significant piece from Namiki. It is the Wind God versus the Thunder God. Only 99 pieces made and I'm proud that I still have one of them. This is a pen from AP, Anuj Porter. American pen but makie in Japan. It is makie from head to toe. The surface area is actually all covered. And I like this because uh, they use a taka makie, which is a raised makie technique with the radon shell inlay and the egg shell inlay. So it's very interesting and it's very beautiful. The modern fountain pen was invented in 1884 by Louis Waterman. And it is called a fountain pen because, you know, as in a reservoir, normally it's water uh, on earth and then it, it flows down the stream. So the fountain pen is something like similar. So it has a reservoir. It flows through the nip and the feeder. So it's like a stream. So maybe because of that, it's called a fountain pen. Fountain pen is very interesting. Okay, you can actually feel the ink coming out in between the feeder and it touching the paper. So every lines and every curve that you make or uh, written on the paper is very you. And then to make it interesting, the fountain pens come in different nib sizes and then you can top up with different colors. Blue alone, there are more than 20 shades. And uh, for colors, there are easily more than 100 colors in the market. So I always say that if the pen is the heart, the ink is the soul, you should color yourself. I started at Study Bay in 2002 in Specialist Shopping Centre. It was a small little shop, 1.5 in meter in width and a 3 meter in length. So, but today we are bigger now. We have uh, almost 800 square feet and we are at the Adelphi. We serve customers from all over the world. It's a go-to place if you look for exquisite pens, limited edition pens and some unique pens. As a collector, I collect all these pens. So now I'm a dealer, so I'm selling the pens that I used to collect. Thanks for phone come. Aesthetic Bay is off offering our viewer a very special 20% discount. Just use this promo code when making your purchase at aestheticbay.com. More details at the description. Now back to Fong Kang. Let me just show you uh, one of the uh, interesting limited edition. This is from Namiki. This pen is very interesting. 99 pieces made and it's Maki A. Right? And then the technique use is called Taka Maki A, which is a raised Maki A. And the artist got to paint it over and over again until it is raised. So this is one of the uh, interesting limited edition that uh, collectors go after. This is another interesting limited edition. This is from Pelican. So it has an etching technology over here. And uh, so far, they are the only one making this. The etching technology is interesting because those artwork that they want is covered. And then they use a chemical to etch away those that not wanted. And the result is actually very beautiful. So this is actually sterling silver and it's etched out. 
This is another pen that I like to show. It is a different technique used. This limited edition is Motigrappa from Italy and it is designed using the lost wax process. So in other words, that the mold is actually the wax and after that, they pour the molten into the mold. And once it is solidified, they will melt away the wax. The artisan will finish it off by hand and then after that, they'll fit onto the pen. This, these three are not limited edition, but they are sought after. It's called Dorsofin Nakaya pen. Dorsofin because it is a fin over here and a fin over here. This pen started cylindrical, and the artisan have to heap up the fin by using charcoal and urushi lacquer. So they build up this fin, and then they dry it. Come back, they will polish it off, all right, to get into the shape. And the next layer goes up. So this repeated many times until the fin is actually heaped up and uh, today uh, this pen is actually very sought after. This was a proud moment for me in 2005. Back then in 2004, together with Cartier Singapore, we decided to make a pen for Singapore to celebrate Singapore's 40th anniversary. So we are talking about multi-racial uh, society and I thought to have Sandro Church, the Hindu temple at, uh, from uh, Chinatown, the Chinese temple from the Mall Street and the Sultan Mosque. All right? So it was uh, my idea to have it and then uh, design it. 500 pieces were made and then there was a Miss Van der Joachim Orchid to represent Singapore. And, uh, distributed around the world and I was given a prototype P and I'm very proud that I still have it today. Thanks to Aesthetic Bay, we have a contest giveaway of not one but five rare US made Schaefer Argyle Fountain pens, each worth $128. Now to win this, you should be an existing or new subscriber and leave a comment. Now, all contest details including how we announce the winner are listed in the description. Please read them. Now, this contest is organized by iCollect and not by YouTube. Now, show us your like and subscribe so that we can bring you interesting content like this. And I'll see you in the next episode.